Good morning guys, so welcome to today's video. Wait, I don't think you guys can see. One of these things just doesn't belong here. <laughs> I can't get a good picture of it. Basically, the duck was laying underneath the chickens. They're all trying to get warm. <laughs> I can't get it on camera. But basically, the duck just fits in. He thinks he's a chicken. I've never seen a duck just fit in so good before. She's so cute. It's Biscuit. Sophie and I are just discussing roosters. Now we have a bunch more. It's crazy how you think you got rid of all the roosters and then poof, you have like six. So she likes him. Is that a rooster? No, this is a hen. The hen's chicken. And I like him. So these two are best friends. They're always like together. Him. him right there. And Sophie likes this one, but I definitely don't want a black rooster. But he probably carries the gene for dark brown chocolate eggs. Yeah, he does. But he's my favorite and they're so funny together. They can't be away from each other, but yeah, if one mates with a chicken, the other one pulls them off. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my gosh, every time I look, more, they're, like those are three roosters. Look at Biscuit. Straighten up. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, she looks so cute. She's so cute. Ellie, leave the little Hi. chickens alone. But my favorite chicken of all time is this little tawny thing. She's so strong and so like, so good. Like she just survives even though she's the size of a duck, mini duck. Oh my goodness. Wait, let me go this way. She looks like she had a bath. She's all fluffy and She's so cute. Her face is so small. <laughs> yeah, Sophie and I want to get into more into silkies. She's so cute though. Absolutely adorable. Pick mine up. Sophie says she doesn't like to be picked up. There's another rooster and he's cute. He honestly is so cute, but he's going. We're getting rid of him. So I need to, Sophie wants to take all of our roosters to the sales barn and get rid of them. <laughs> The duck, the duck is so funny. He just ran out here, grabbed a rooster by the neck and said, I'm the boss of you. <laughs> it's so adorable. So there are, there's a chicken in there laying. <laughs> He's really cute. All right, hi Piggy, you're back. Come on. I thought you kicked a rock, but no. Ellie and her best friend. Two eggs, see? Once you find their spot, hold on. It's a nest. <laughs> it's a... Once you find their spot, they won't lay eggs there anymore. So now we gotta find their new spot. Come on. This way. Come on. Sophie just, Sophie just gave me those eggs to hold on to. I always put them in my pocket. Don't do that because <laughs> it doesn't always turn out well. So. Oh, there's two. The chickens have... Get your pig, she's coming out. Close the door, close the door. Oh. Oh, the chickens you can't go in there. I don't want you in the horse field. Go, go, get. <laughs> See how she gets mad? When I don't let her do something, she swishes her tail and jumps and turns around and runs. <laughs> anyway, the chickens have started to infiltrate the horse field. But oh, the probably the two that lay. Because they're the only two in there. Yeah, they probably laid their eggs and then they're like, let's check out the horse field. But they want I feel like the horses need to get used to them. So my sister just asked me if I wanted to do like a little petting zoo for her granddaughter's birthday. And I thought, what a, what a fun thing. Like that's something that we're really interested in. Insurance is really, really high for that kind of thing. But I was thinking about it. And I would love to be like a mobile pet. Sophie says, put those eggs yeah, in there. three chickens in there. Sophie says, put those eggs in your pocket. And I'm like, no, I've done it before. It doesn't end well. Look how many goats we have. Yeah, that's a lot of goats we have here. Yeah. <laughs> it's annoying. All right, so this is alarming because they're not in the horse field. Sophie says, let's go on a field trip, find our goats. At this point, I feel like fences are just an illusion to goats. We're gonna try and sneak up on them. So cold.
gosh, somebody stole our goats. I see nothing. Sophie. Oh, hi. She's like, hi. <laughs> There's the leader. Ellie, I wouldn't go there. Come on. <laughs> Where were you guys? I love watching how they walk. See all the babies together. Uh oh. Oh, be nice to that baby. Let's see how they get through here. Look it. I know how they got in there. They went this way through the horse field. They probably can't get back. They probably can't get back to their food. So they're just eating grass. Look at that baby girl. I love her. See how all the babies kind of hang out together though? So even my new girl, she doesn't have a mom, but she hangs out with the babies. Ellie, get back here. Come on. Ellie. Come on. She's gone. Come on. I know you can that. Come on. I'll just open it for them. All right, we got one. They are so cute. This is our little herd. It's tiny. Oh, here comes Tiny. Shayla. Look at their storm running. They're all coming. I may have lost Ellie though. And there they come. <laughs> they are so cute. Like I can just watch them. Look at Penny. She looks so cute. And it's cool. And it's cool. Uh, <laughs> like, what? She looks so confused. He's like, help. <laughs> Really cute though. Yeah. That little Ow. boy is sniffing Rosie's butt. He's like, is there a baby coming out of there soon? We leave and they go through the fence. Look there now. Yeah, they're like, let's chase the goats, we're bored. They're like, I need to be warm. But look at, see how Penny stands behind Storm? Some days they're friends and some days they're not. Look at the wind blowing on his hair. Oh, it's cold. They look cold. I yeah, are you cold? He's like, yes, we're cold. Oh, this walks out like half the way. I know, I love this thing. Ellie, <laughs> this is not, Ellie, run. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's not smart. Oh, Cricket is so, these are the two friendly ones. Come here. Oh. Right, well. Let's go, and while we do it, let's look at some udders. I love her udder. I mean, I don't love her udder. I've seen way better. None of our goats have cute udders. Rosie's is kind of cute. Oh my gosh, they're picking up a stick. They're like, oh, look, it's a stick. Our poop pile it's looking actually really good I still have to work on it but not in the freezing cold and oh they're all back officially these boys have seven days six days and seven days before they're separated from their mamas so the brown boys weigh just about 20 pounds so I know they'll be okay to be separated from their moms but the triplets only weighed 16 pounds when we weighed them so they're probably gonna be like maybe 17 or 18 pounds when we switch him over. Okay, look at how cute he's getting. Look at how cute she is. She makes me so happy. Like, this goat is just such a happy little thing. I hate brown goats. Well, I like the dark chocolate brown, like, damn. Like, I don't know, I just feel like there's so many of them out there. Look at all of her face is so cute. They're not original. The rule is you shouldn't separate goats until they're 20 pounds. And the reason they have that rule is because a lot of people separate their goats at two weeks like they do it by an age they separate them at two weeks and the reason they do that is to milk share so they want the milk so they separate babies and sometimes they do well and sometimes they don't oh, do well busy. like i said before it's important for them to be strong enough when you and have a good enough immune system when you separate them 20 pounds is where they're most likely healthy enough to be able to withstand being away from mom's milk so all that to just say that if our triplets are not big enough to separate next week the reason we're going to separate is because we don't want them to get anybody pregnant we haven't seen them extending or anything yet but we just want to be safe so if they're not 20 pounds yet when we ex when we separate them we'll do um some visitations we'll 
we've been doing it already with our other little guy. Just some milk set, uh, visitations. We just let them together long enough to feed their babies and we watch them and make sure nobody tries to breed mom. Because we eat. Eight weeks is early in my opinion. None of our goats have ever like extended uh, at before eight weeks. No, that's my hair. So uh, that's the plan. Just so you guys know, a few more days, like next Tuesday and Wednesday. He's leaving his mom on Wednesday. So we're gonna have a lot of milking to do. So we have to find a different way to go through the barn. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> I just don't like to, I hate the whole process, but it's getting better now. Winston is doing a little bit better. His mom is doing way better. She's cool with it. Now I can just sit there. It, yeah, now she's our goat again. Always has the friendliest babies, but after you like came them after. Yeah, Mocha always has the friendliest babies and then her babies have the friendliest babies, so she's not friendly. Blossom's friendly. Blossom is and friendly. And her baby, and she was exactly like the little boys. Yeah. And Rocky's friendly. But look at, look at my, oh, you missed it. Look at my little goat. She is the one that I bought. She is so adorable. So Lola over there, you can't see her, but she hides behind the wall because she's afraid somebody's going to poke her. And she screamed Ow. the whole first, like, five months that we had her. She just always screamed. This little thing is like... It's fine. I'll be fine. And she just gets in there. I guess it's because, well, she was a baby, but so was Mocha. So was Lola a baby. Anyway, she just gets in there and plays and somebody chases her off. She runs and then she comes back. And then there's Miss Shy Girl. But having said that, it's okay for her to be shy. It's okay for her to not adjust. It's okay not to fit in. It's okay to not feel comfortable in a group. It's okay to not like it when people bully you. That's okay. Like, I don't blame her that she's separated on and doing her own thing because it's hard to fit in. But I really love that she does fit in. Like she just makes me so happy. She's just such a happy, easy going goat. It's like, you know, when you're around people and they have like really good, they just have really good vibes. That's her. She just has such good vibes. And Lola has good vibes too. She just has more like stay away from me kind of vibes. She does like kisses. She's so cute. Like, I can't get over how lucky I am. At yeah, first, tiny. I know. So, well, she's gonna grow though. She's already growing so much. And even Lola is a short goat and her legs have grown a lot. <laughs> Stop trying to steal my goat. I'm not, you can have her, but I'm older. She's so cute. She's so cute. Here, you older, huh? Hey, it's me, I'm your mom. She doesn't like you. Hey. Okay. I kissed too. It's like, how am I not closest to you? Mom? That's adorable. Mama and her babies. She doesn't know that in a week they're going to be gone. And we're going to be milking her. He wants to be close to and her. And it's going to be scary. I can tell you that. And come on, piggy, piggy, piggy. How did I know I'd find you in here? Come on, we're going. Come on. Sophie wants us to do an update on her cat. And grumpy up there we all want to know did he lose weight because he's never super chubby well he's a bit chubby in the summer but not through my camera roll and all photos out of him he was perfect weight last summer was he perfect weight last summer yeah. he's a lazy boy to be fair <laughs> was that his tail no it's not could you be fair it's freezing cold today so he's just trying to stay warm okay so the craziest thing it might be my imagination but i'm pretty sure that molly herds the pig i'm pretty I, like i'm 99 percent sure she hurts her she stands by her all the time and she tries to push her where she's supposed to go come on no no Ugh. come on like if the pig moves molly moves if the pig stops molly stops this way <laughs> Sadly, I don't know if it's helping, if Molly's helping or hurting. Honestly, if you want to lose weight, get a pig. Like, <laughs> man. <sighs> get out of here. Get out. Come on. You're not a chicken. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Apparently she likes water.
Come on, Porky. Come on. It's cold out. <laughs> she goes home. At this point, you're probably thinking like, why don't you just train the pig like a dog so it comes and does what you want. But the problem is, she knows already all the things I want. Come on. But she doesn't always agree. Like when she's going to the dog food, she she waits for me. Like she knows she's gonna get in trouble. She knows she's not allowed to go there. So she knows I'm gonna be following her. So she starts out running and then as soon as she hears me coming, she slows down and then she like yes. tries to get sneaky. Pigs are very wild. Like, I mean, not in a bad way, but they just have like their own set of rules and you can train them. And she she's trained enough that she knows what I want, but whether she listens or not, that's another story. So the farrier comes tomorrow, I've so I need to it, clean up the barn. I haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping. Caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so Sam wants the pig to use this in the winter time. He wants to build a little ramp. You think that body's gonna get through that little hole right there? <laughs> you never know. It's a big hole, actually. She's she can probably just fit now and she's a baby. Anyway, um I wanna use it for chickens. Guys, comment below. I know I haven't checked the comments for a while. Oh, that'd be good for like chicks, but when they get too big, it won't be big enough. Well, uh, you only need them in here when they're little. But look how cool that they can be outside. And look. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you take that off and then... Yeah, and just put shavings on there. Yeah. I like it still. Yeah, I you can use it for chicks. We need to move it though. Block this off. Well, we need to put screen somewhere. I say we put the food in the water in there because it's raised up. We put shavings down here, put the food in the water in there, put screen on one end, screw, like chicken wire on one end, so or hardware cloth. Door, so you can open it. Yeah, a door. Oh, you don't need a door. Well, we need ventilation, so it needs to be screen. Oh, look it! Does this open? No, I don't think so. Look it, it's a window. Yeah, it is a window. It's just one piece of a window. Oh, it looks it's like it glass opens. glass piece of window. Oh. It would be better if that was a window though. Yeah, because then we could just open that in the summer. But anyway, I say we definitely use it for chickens. Baby chicks. Sophie likes to hatch her chicks in the winter. So, And just like that, we are ready for the farrier. Oh, I'm so excited. I love her. I can't wait to see her. I like talking to her and and finding out all the horsey stuff. Like... She always has so much information to share and I love that about her. Once we get consistent warm weather, I'm going to bring a washcloth in here and just wipe everything down. And I have to take all this stuff inside and wipe it down because it is messy. is it we'll see you guys tomorrow tomorrow's gonna be a super fun day or a super exciting day hopefully <laughs> oh we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful just the way you are